Hi everyone, Phil from Tech for Techs here. Today we're going to be looking at this Super EQ S1 Hybrid Active Noise Cancelling Headphones. So uh, basically, as you said, it's noise cancelling headphones. You've got a choice of these white ones as well as a black version online. The recommended retail price of these is £55.99p. Uh, we've got links in the description below. Feel free to click them, it will take you to the cheapest price available in your country. Oh. Okay, so let's have a look at this Super EQ S1. So it says it's got hybrid active noise cancelling headphones and it's got a 24 months uh, extended warranty on there if you register on their website. So I'm guessing it's just 12 months. Uh, otherwise, uh, it gives you some information on their active noise cancelling over ear breathable uh, protein ear pads, uh, 24 hour playback time. Uh, wireless wired cable and you've got a foldable design that's probably why it's in such a small box the other side just shows you basically what one of the ear cups looks like and then you've got the full specifications on the back which are really small hopefully you can read those there otherwise I'm going to need to get a magnifying glass out to read those it's not as if they haven't got a huge amount of room on the back to put them on Okay, so this is what you've got inside the box. Let's start with the least important first. So, first of all, this card says product problems, don't like products. Basically, it's saying if you have any problems, email them there. Um, and you've got a QR code to register on the back, which gives you your two-year warranty instead of the standard one. Um, next, you've got FAQ guide, which... Okay, it's upside down, is it? Oh no, it's just foldable. There we go. Right, so it gives you all, uh, information about, about noise cancelling, about charging it, and all your other information there. And then the other side, it gives you a couple of notes and so forth as well. Now you've got your user manual. It looks like it's multilingual. Or multilingual, should I say. There we go. So... Yeah, so it tells you basically all about it. It tells you what the buttons do. So you've got charging port, three and a half mil jack, microphone. So there is a microphone in it, so that's good. Uh, a and C button, as well as LED indicator, previous track, forward track, noise cancelling, microphone, and so forth. So other than that, we've got a nice bag to put it all in. We've got three cables. You've got a USB micro cable, so this is what you'd plug into a USB socket and then into the headphones itself to charge them up. You've also got a 3.5mm jack um, cable, so you could plug it into the device and then plug it into your PC smart device or whatever, which has got one jack or a combined jack as they like to call them. Um, so you can obviously listen to the device without having to use the Bluetooth function. It also comes with a splitter, well it's not really a splitter, it basically, well it is, it splits the microphone and the headphone socket, so you can plug that into, let's say, a PC, what's got two jacks, and some laptops which have also still got two jacks on them, um, so you can use the um, earphones and the microphone on it at the same time. If you use a device what's got two jacks, you only plug this in, only one of the features may or may not work. Um, so you've got all the cable that you need there. So let's have a look at the earphones itself. They're quite, quite weighty actually, I suppose that's the batteries in them. Um, they look quite stylish to be honest, for what they are. So first of all, the outside is plastic. That's plastic, even though that's silver. That feels like plastic. Yeah, it's basically all fat plastic, and then you've got this rubberized, I'm guessing fake leather for the ear cups. Um, it does say protein ear cups. I'm not sure if we're going to eat it or something, but um, but you've got protein ear cups. I'm not sure what difference that makes to your ears, but hey hey. Um, so it's adjustable. It looks like it's got a bit of metal strap there, and then obviously it folds. 
to obviously fold it up as you saw when we unfolded it so it has got room to make it larger so if you have got a big head like I have it will fit a big head if you're using it on a child or someone who's got a smaller head obviously unless your child's got a big head then you've got basically got that option as well um, on the hit on the outside this little hole here is for the now noise cancelling i suppose that's where it records the uh, ambient noise and then it plays it back the opposite through the earphones so you don't actually hear the noise we'll test that in a few minutes to see how good it actually is you've got your volume up and down and everything here you've also got your three and a half mil jack there then your charge cable when i can find it plugs into there okay so it's pretty straightforward it says left and right let's just have a feel how it is on my head so yeah definitely need to extend the sides okay yeah so it does basically what it says on the tin um i'm going to try and turn this on now i'm guessing it's got no battery power let's have a look oh, it looks like it is it's lighting up red let's see if it does anything Okay, so I've just tried these. The sound quality, I wouldn't say, is the best in the world. They're not bad, don't get me wrong. There's a nice bit of bass there. It gets pretty loud. It sounds a little muffled on one or two bits of sound, but to be honest, not too bad. You probably wouldn't notice if you weren't listening too closely. But the noise cancelling feature is pretty good. I was a bit dubious, in all honesty, using it. But as soon as you press the button at the bottom, it'll either go to ambient noise, which obviously is when you can hear the noise around you and so forth. But as soon as you put that noise cancelling mode on, you cannot hear anything going off in the room or within a certain degree. Obviously, if someone makes a big enough noise, you go into. But I could, couldn't hear any of the traffic passing or anything like that. I couldn't hear the hums. I couldn't hear the whistling of the radiators and stuff like that. Which And even the PC, which is behind me, and all the other electrics I've got running in here. Um, couldn't hear it as soon as I pressed that button. I was actually quite surprised. The quality was very good on that. So I'm going to just try it again because it's actually pretty good. Okay, actually, when you've got ambient sound on, that's with the surround sound, obviously, the, the sound of normal life, it does sound a little bit muffled. But as soon as you turn that um, noise cancelling feature on, so obviously you don't hear any of the noise around you, then it does actually sound clearer. So it doesn't sound as muffled. So I'm just wondering if it's a... Because some reason why the ambient surround is on, so that's the normal noise in the room, um, it does sound a little bit muffled, but as I said, as soon as you turn it on, um, it sounds a lot, lot clearer. So I'm not sure if it does the opposite. It makes it more muffled when the ambient noise is um, being heard around the room. But yeah, very pleased with that, but it does cancel the noise around the room, uh, which is very, very good. Okay, we're using the microphone built into the headset, so you can actually hear what it actually sounds like. I'm going to go over onto the normal studio microphone now, so you obviously will hear a difference. Uh, but this gives you a rough idea what the other person at the other end would hear if you was actually making something like a phone call. Okay, so I'm on my studio mic now, so you can hear the difference. Bear in mind, my studio mic is stereo, where the actual uh, microphone built into that headset, or at least it only recorded in mono, so on one channel. So, not always the best, but generally, that's pretty standard on most headsets. While I wouldn't say there was anything industry-leading with this headset, it definitely doesn't leave any bitter taste in the mouth it does what it's supposed to do the noise cancelling is actually pretty good and actually does improve the normal audio sound which i thought was a little bit strange uh, as well so that was nice and pleasing it's always nice to be able to switch off the surround world and just listen to what you want to listen to whether it be music movie or even a game bear in mind these i would say are aimed more towards the music side of thing than gaming but saying that they're still a pretty good headset for the price